All right, guys, I'm actually down here at RBM of Atlanta because I ordered a part for this CDI. You can see here is the original uh, fuse box cover. And the original cover has a lock and unlock here. And it's supposed to have one right here. And that was broken. It was missing. And uh, that was driving me crazy just because I'm a perfectionist. So I just ordered a brand new uh, genuine Mercedes fuse box cover. Now we correctly have our lock and unlock on this side and on this side. And that fuse box cover is securely fastened. So I'll, uh, I'll toss this guy. Okay, today I'm adding the final touch to the E320 CDI. You see there's a couple of little cracks there and one right there. So today I got in the new piece. Genuine Mercedes. Look at that. No cracks. So I'm going to install this in the car and then that'll finish out this interior and make it I actually like the little uh, pattern in this piece a little better. You know, they're all different. This one has more pattern up here, but uh, this one actually matches uh, the dash pattern a little better because it's more, it's got more grain structure in it. So it looks, looks a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that in here. We'll see what it looks like. Here's our before shot. You can see the two cracks there. And now let's look at the after shot. There we go. Installed. No cracks. Very nice. Looks really good. There was the old piece right there. With our cracks in it. And there's the new piece. You can see no cracks. Perfectly smooth. And actually the coloring on this one is looks much nicer it matches matches better this one appears to be just a little faded so anyway very happy with that look how nice that is all right guys here's the walk around video for the 2006 e320 cdi I've been working on the car for a couple days and I think I've got everything perfect at this point. I've also fully serviced the vehicle, so nothing needs to be done uh, for the next 5,000 miles. I think Mercedes says you can even go farther than that on an oil change, but I would change it at 5,000 miles. That's a little, little much to go over that. But anyway, here we go. 2006 E320 CDI. This has 102,000 miles on it. I probably put 150 miles on it in the last couple of days. Uh, this is the best driving car I've ever had. Spent a lot of time buffing the paint and uh, I'm a mechanic so I had to kind of <laughs> learn how to get that just right. Excuse the sun glare there. This car is extremely nice. Uh, things I've done to it, um, of course, the full service. Um, I also changed the uh, wood trim. You'll see that in the video uh, on the shifter on the center console. I had a little crack in it. And the fuse cover uh, box, the lid, has a little lock on it. I changed that, uh, I changed that lid. I went and picked one up at RBM Mercedes because the little lock mechanism was broken. Fully scanned with the Mercedes diagnostic software. Uh, the car is solid. It's ready to go. No fault codes. Hang on a second and I'll show you guys the interior. And in the previous video, uh, you saw under the engine cover, uh, I showed all the injectors and how clean the engine was. No signs of any black death. This car is in excellent condition. Let's go look on the, uh, oh, I put new center caps, uh, new wheel center caps on all the wheels. I picked those up at RBM Atlanta, RBM Mercedes. Let's take a look in here. So here's the wood trim piece I replaced. 
See how good that looks now? And I'll post a before and after video. All the wood is excellent condition. Looks really, really good. I also, so these steering wheels are notorious for getting wear along them. And I had the steering wheel professionally refinished. I think that's also in the first video I posted on this car. There's a little wear mark right there on one of the buttons. Uh, that's just, you know, can be expected from use. Let's see if I can. So this is a push to start, right? So I'm going to crank it. So there we go. The key's actually in my pocket. Well, that beeping won't go off until I shut the door, I guess. All right. There we go. Turn off the AC. AC works great. Stereo works great. Gives a little warning not to drive and play with this. The phone is not installed. Let's go to audio. So I have it tuned to 89, uh, uh, 88.9, and that's because in here I had a little Bluetooth radio adapter installed as I was driving around. Um, I don't know who listens to CDs anymore, but <laughs> If you do, six disc CD player, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Everything works in this car. Let's check the visors. Got the little light that comes on up there. Uh, sunroof also works and there was a uh, recall on the sunroof lamination uh, this car does not have the issue uh, the glass would delaminate there we go and you can see there's no no delamination going on on this one also uh, there is a uh, tilt fill till 2030 there's a warranty on the SBC brake system uh, and it'll pop up and say service, but um, this system has no faults in the computer. Uh, and so it does not need to be done yet. However, I went to RBM Atlanta and specifically asked them about it. And they said, yep, no problem. You bring the car in if it ever needs the SPC brake system warranty done. I'm sure you guys know about that if you're looking at this car. Let's go ahead and look under the hood. Just real quick, one thing I want to point out, look how nice the hood, I, I, I probably spent an hour uh, buffing this out and it just came out. The paint is awesome. That's a, uh, oh, there you go, perfect. Look at the reflection. Guys, that is, that is awesome paint for an 06. Clearly the car was garage kept. Let's go ahead and look inside here. And what's, what's cool about the more modern Mercedes, like they still hang on to some old features that came on the 300D. See the little latch there you pull to open the hood? So you can see the evolution of the old 300Ds even on this car. Um, now I've already, it's got a new air filter, new brake fluid, transmission's been serviced, oil change, all that stuff's already been taken care of, power steering. Uh, but I wanted to show you what I replaced. This is the uh, fuse box cover. And see, there's a lock right here where you can lock and unlock the cover. And there's one right there, too. So this one was broken on the original. And I just picked this up from RBM Mercedes. Uh, and that's a, uh, an OEM replacement. And you guys have already seen under the engine. So this is the SBC. See, SBC uh, brake system. This is what has the warranty till 2030 by Mercedes. So uh, eventually you'll get a message that pops up, uh, service the brake system, and you take it to Mercedes, uh, any dealership, and they replace that for free, no questions asked. No hazing or fogginess on the headlights. look at the trunk original windshield 
I was wondering what this is, and I did a little research. Uh, that's actually a rain sensor. I'm not sure how that applies to the vehicle, but it senses when uh, rain hits the windshield. Yeah, this was uh, obviously never, never sat in. I'm really proud of my wood trim replacement there. It looks way better. That little crack is gone. Let's look inside here. It's got all the books and manuals right there. All the original books and manuals. So I also bought a set of uh, Bosch wiper blades. I actually picked those up this morning. Um, I need to put those on the car. Uh, there's a new battery. And you can access the battery. You pull up this mat here. There's the battery. Still has the cover on it. And you can see, well, you guys can't see that in the video, but it's stamped 2022 battery. So, new battery, don't have to worry about that. There's the spare, that's obviously the original spare. Looks like a tool kit over here. Not that you would ever use a tool kit on a CDI. I don't know, maybe you could. Now, this is cool. Um, when this pulls up, if you need it to stay up, that latches around right there. Little stuff like that I'm noticing on, on these Mercedes. Let's see, what else can I show you guys? Y'all already saw the test drive where I got like 40 miles per gallon. Let's do the uh, let's do the rear sunshade. So you can press this button here. There you go. That raises up the rear sunshade. Now this was the premium uh, P1 package on this car. So you also have heated seats. Of course this puts your headrest down. If those headrests are up in the back, you press that button and, it, and they all drop down. Uh, traction control system, AC works as expected, climate control. You also have your navigation system here. I mean, I'm sorry, not your navigation, your display. Let me go through here. There we go. That's what I was trying to get to. You can adjust the radio. See how I'm doing the stations. Those are the presets. Okay, engine oil level, not when engine is on. So that's where you can check your engine oil level when the car is, uh, the key is in position two. That's what I was trying to get to. So I've already done all of the maintenance. However, the computer says uh, service C is in 13,000 miles or 12,796. So if you want to take it to the, uh, to the dealer for the service C, you got 13,000 miles before that's due. However, I've just serviced the car guys, so. Not sure how relevant that is. Yeah, I went to the extent of serving this car, uh, servicing this car. I put it up on the lift and uh, hooked up the computer to it, tested all the wheel speed sensors, the ABS, uh, the valve actuation on the braking system. I mean, it's cool on the computer. You can like roll the windows up and down. You can make all the blinkers turn on and off all from the computer. So it's pretty cool. And I went through all those diagnostics on the car and everything is 100%. So anyway, this is the nicest CDI I've ever had. I've had a couple of them and they're hard to find in this condition. This one's ready to go and these cars will last you several hundred thousand miles. So I just pulled the car back in the shop and I realized I don't think I showed the condition of the driver's seat uh, in that video. So here we go. Here you can see the condition of the driver's seat. There's very minimal 
Looks like there's a little bit of wear right there, guys, but that is it. It was owned by a lady, so her name was Helen. So not much wear on the seat. You can see the bolsters all look good. Really, the interior is in outstanding condition. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you're watching this, it's probably posted on the website for sale now. So uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, call me, email me, and uh, comment on the videos. I love chatting with everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care.